I'm one of the millions missing who will be protesting at the U.S. Capitol on May 12th. And I'll be there because I want to save our science. I've had long COVID for five years. I know lots of people who've had ME-CFS for much longer. And even after these years and decades, there are still no FDA approved treatments. I think the science behind these illnesses is actually making great progress. Every day, every week, we read about new advances, whether it's about mitochondrial dysfunction or T-cell exhaustion or microglia activation. And so those fundamental underpinnings, those that basic science is really progressing and getting to the point where treatments are within reach. What's frustrating is that all of this could be nipped in the bud. The science that's ready to blossom might just wither if the government doesn't continue to invest in these areas and increase its investment through the National Institutes of Health and other organizations. There's been real progress, but it could all be for naught. And even a one year of cuts could set things back five or 10 years if labs get shut down and the infrastructure is taken away. So that's why I'll be out there on May 12th, because I want to save our science.